In this example, we will be evaluating the square root of 729. To do this, we want to first look at this math rule. The square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b. So if we have two numbers instead of a square root multiplied by each other, we can rewrite it as two separate square roots multiplied together. Now to apply this to the square root of 729, we need to look at the factors of 729. We can use 9 and 81. Although there are other factors, I chose 9 and 81 because they're both perfect squares. Now we can rewrite the square root of 729 as the square root of 9 times 81. We can then use our math rule to simplify this to the square root of 9 times the square root of 81. The square root of 9 is equal to 3 because 9 is equal to 3 squared or 3 times 3. The square root of 81 is equal to 9 because 81 is equal to 9 squared. So we can rewrite this as 3 times 9 because the square root of 9 is 3 and the square root of 81 is 9. We can then simplify this by multiplying them together. 3 times 9 is equal to 27. This means that the square root of 729 is equal to 27.